Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna review the Chili Blanket by Chili Pad. And we'll start counting some sheep right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. You know, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So you may be wondering, like, why are they reviewing a blanket on a keto channel? Right. Now, first of all, this is not the blanket. This is called the Chili Pad Cube. But the box is like this. This is a piece of the blanket. So I'm actually gonna put this to the side just to get it out of our way. So the reason we're talking about a blanket is because when it comes to your health, sleep is just as important as what you eat. And we can totally attest to that fact because we have done everything right as far as like eating the proper food and eating it in the proper amount of meals and eating it in the right little window and we've been moving and we've done the exercise thing and we have found that if you do not address the sleep component you can still experience a lot of frustration yeah and i am a horrible sleeper i have been for years because zombie work a lot of jobs i wear a lot of hats within those jobs so there's only x amount of hours so i don't get a lot of sleep and then when i do get into bed i'm very very restless so i started researching what are some things that we could do and i came across things called like bed chillers where there's a mattress pad that actually goes across your mattress, which we've also tried, and weighted blankets and things like that to see they're supposed to help you get better sleep. And if you have had terrible sleep for 49 years in a row, you're willing to do anything, do anything, try anything. So now I am of the benefit that I have an aura ring, so I've been able to track things, but we've been using, at least I've been using the weighted chili blanket for about three weeks now. Uh, I've really enjoyed it so much so that I went and purchased one for Rachel Yay. so that she can improve her sleep. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to actually take this review into the bedroom, not in a dirty way. It's, it's a family channel. But what we're going to do is we're going to unbox Rachel's blanket. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set it up. So easy Rachel can do it. So easy Rachel can do it how you control it. Then we're gonna come back and talk about the pros and the cons for the chili blanket because there are pros and there are some cons as well. So let's head into the bedroom. Okay, so this is the box that the blanket comes in. It's not super big. It's about two foot by one foot by one foot, but it is heavy with the unit and stuff. I'd say it probably weighs about 25 to 30 pounds. So when you open up the box, it has two things in here. The first thing you're gonna have is your chili pad cube, which is the part that's actually gonna cool it. And then we have our blanket here. So we're just gonna take the blanket out. You're gonna see two sides on this. You have this side here, this is the top, and then this side here is the part that's gonna lay against you. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see in here, but there are little tubes that run inside of this blanket and we'll try to unzip it and I'll show them a little bit better. That's what all of the water runs through. So now the way this works is we're gonna take this unit and we're gonna fill it up with distilled water. Anytime you're having anything like this, you wanna use distilled water. I'm gonna do this on the bed even though Rachel's probably gonna yell at me and I'm just going to, going to kill you. fill it up like this. Don't spill any. And then we're gonna have to turn it on and let it cycle through and you'll have to keep adding to it. So right now, that's like that. And what we'll do is once we get the unit on, you'll have to add more to it. I'm gonna put the cover on so it doesn't spill all over the bed, Rachel. Thank you. Okay, Rachel, if you wanna come over here, I will show you guys more about the blanket itself. So like we said, this is the top, this is the bottom, and the bottom, like I said, the tubes are gonna be a little bit closer to you. Now on the very bottom, you'll have this coming out. This is what these hoses connect to. It's gotta be at your feet, otherwise it's gonna be in the middle of your face when you're sleeping. Over here on the side, you're gonna see a zipper. 
And what the zipper does is it's going to allow us to actually clean the whole blanket. So we can unzip it all the way up. And then when you look inside, this is the weights itself for the blanket. And you can see how they all are tied on. So you simply untie them, you can take it out, and then you can throw this whole unit into your washing machine. Now, while we have it unzipped, you can see in here a little bit easier, you see these tubes. That's what all of the water is running through to either warm you up or cool you down. Now, one of the things that's nice about being able to remove the weights is not just for cleaning, but also if you're not used to a weighted blanket, you can take these out and slowly get used to the heating and the cooling and then maybe add them back on once you're used to that. Now, all we have to do is just plug it in and then we have our remote. Now, the remote uses two AA batteries. It does not come with them which I don't know why you can't give me the batteries, but it doesn't come with batteries. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one end and it simply plugs here into the back and you're gonna actually hear it click. Did you hear that click on there? I'll do it one more time. Now it's locked in, it's not gonna go anywhere. The other half goes onto the mattress pad itself. Now that one's in. Now we're simply going to power it on. So there's a button right here, or you can use your remote. And now you can hear it going. Now you can see up here, it's flashing and need water because it took some of that water and it pumped it into the tubes. So we're low again. So now this is just the first time you're gonna set this up. You'll have to do this. And we're gonna add a little bit of water at a time until it stops giving you that issue. And it looks like we're about at the right level now. So it doesn't take much water, maybe a quarter of a gallon. Not a lot at all. Now that it's running, you just put the top on it. Now in using it for three weeks, I have not had to top it off. So if you come over here, looking at the chili pad itself, you have a screen here that tells you the temperature. There's a power button. Then you have a red fire button and a blue uh, snowflake button. So if you want to heat it up, you're just going to press this and it will go all the way up to 110 and high. So when it's on high, the fan will be at the highest setting for heat. So if you go down one, you'll see it says 110 degrees. There's no difference in temperature between 110 and high. And then we can go all the way down as low as 55 degrees. Yes. So trying to get it down to 55, you will have once below again is low and you're going to hear the fan runs a little bit higher. So I'm going to be quiet so that you can hear how high the temp the fan runs. Now you don't have to control the chili pad by actually getting down on the floor and using the unit itself. You can use the remote control. It's got the same three buttons, a power button, it's got the snowflake button and the heat button, and you can just control it however you want. When it comes to sound, I would say you really don't hear it. Once you take it and stick it under the foot of your bed or if it doesn't fit maybe like in a corner somewhere, it's, it's light white noise like having a fan running in your room. I actually find it very pleasant. Well, now that we've got it up and running and it's cooling down, do you want to get underneath it? Yes, I do. Okay, so we have this set up a little bit differently than we actually sleep under it. Really what you want is to have your sheet, then you want this and then you want your comforter on top of it because you really want this as close to your body as possible so that you get the full effect. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to have it like this where the comforter is underneath me. But oh my goodness, it feels so good. Yes, this is the most important detail, which is I can turn it down. How low can you go? How low can you go? Now, you can see Rachel's laying on the bed. The way we normally have it set, you can see over here on my side of the bed, is we have the comforter, then we have the chili blanket, and then we have our top sheet. And you really do feel the temperature through the top sheet. You don't have to have the blanket just touching your body. No. The top sheet hardly puts any insulation. But the comforter will trap the cold or the heat between you and the blanket. And it's super, super soft. It's like a baby blanket material. And then it's just very comforting. It's just enough weight for me. If somebody needs to have like a 35 or 40 pound weighted blanket, this isn't the blanket for them. But for somebody like me, it's just enough to feel comforted without feeling suffocated. 
So that's the chili blanket, and you can see it is super easy to set up. I mean, I can do it. Yeah, simply take it out of the box, fill it up with water, plug it in, you're good to go. Done. Now, what's nice about it is it's the same technology as the chili pad and the Uller pad when it comes to actually cooling or heating up the water. The difference is with those, you're laying on top of it, whereas this is a blanket that goes on top of you. And what makes that nice is the fact that it's portable. That means you can take it from one room to the other or even on a vacation with you. Which is super awesome. Right. And I mean, we love this blanket, but there are some cons and we should do pros and cons. Yeah. Well, let's start off with the pros because and it's always nice to have positives first. I want to leave on a negative though. Pro number one, it just works That's and a big it one. works well. It does what they say it's going to do, which is give you a better night's sleep and either cool you or heat you depending on what you're looking for. And like we talked about before, I've never been a good sleeper. I don't get a lot of sleep, which is one of the reasons that I really wanted to have the aura ring so I can see what was going on with my sleep. And before starting to use the blanket, I would get less than three or four hours sleep, many times less than 30 minutes worth of REM sleep. I was very restless. It would take me over an hour just to fall asleep. I The, Uller, the thing for my uh, aura ring would just have all of these warnings, like you're not getting enough of this, you're tossing and turning, Go to bed, everything. Stop hunting people, you vampire. Right. <laughs> Within the first night of using the chili blanket, and just the chili blanket, everything improved. I got to six, seven, eight hours sleep. I was falling asleep within five minutes. I was not restless anymore. I was getting more REM sleep and more deep sleep. I'm not going to lie. I did get a mirror. Check your pulse and make sure that you were still with us. Pro number two. It gets hot. And it gets cold. And as a woman who is 43 years old, that is super important. I actually like that we have separate blankets because I'm hot and then I'm cold and then I'm cold and then I'm hot. And I like the fact that I can control both those things and the blanket actually does both those things. So the next pro will be you can remove the weight. So if you're like me and you're not used to a weighted blanket, you can actually take those weights out and just have it as a cooling or a heating and blanket. It may not be quite as effective because you don't have anything pushing that cooling or the heating technology onto you, but it is an option for you. And kind of to piggyback on that is, I like the fact that you can wash it because it is so like, you know, you can deconstruct it. Right. So I like being able to wash it because yeah, ew, if you couldn't wash it, but Honestly, I've had heating blankets where you couldn't wash them. And I don't know what they expect you to do with it if you don't wash it. Throw it out, I guess. But, um, yeah, I like being able to wash it. So another pro is a 90-day trial. Yes. Because if you don't like it, you can send it back. Yeah, I think that's huge because you're, you, it is an expense and you want to be able to know that this is really going to give you the sleep. And just trying it for two or three days usually isn't enough. So the fact that they're giving you 90 days to try it, and if you don't like it, if it's not giving you improved sleep, send, send it, it back. back, get all your money back. Another big pro that I really like is because it is a little expensive, you can pay for it over time for one year, not taking out another credit card, using your own personal credit card or your own personal bank account with 0% interest. So if you're just doing it out of your bank account, you can split it to as many payments you want, like three payments, six payments, or 12 payments, and there's no interest, no penalties, no payment fees or anything like that. The other thing I like is it has a two-year warranty because there's tubes and cords and things to plug in. So I wanna make sure that if there's anything that goes wrong with it, they're gonna fix it. The last pro that I could think of off the top of my head would be that it gets cool very quickly. So a lot of times, like if you get a heated blanket, for example, it takes a long time for those things to heat up. This thing reacts pretty quickly. Within like five or 10 minutes, you can really feel the effects of either the heat or the coldness. That is a pro for me too, because when mama is hot, I need that cold like right now. And it is the difference between maybe the police getting called to our house or not, is how cool can you get me and how fast? Let's move on to the cons, because there are a few cons. And the first one I'm gonna say is that it does take a little bit of time to get used to the weight. So Heck the yeah. weights, it is a pro that you can take them out, but you really do want to sleep with those weights because that is one of the things going to help you to not be as restless and it is pushing that cold technology or the heating technology onto you to keep you at the temperature that you want. And that is weird if you're not used to it. Yeah. 
Um, a con for me is you have to clean the unit like every 60 days. So, yeah. I mean, I'm glad I can wash the blanket and I want to wash the blanket and I want the, I want the thing to get cleaned out, but like, yeah, that actually has to be done. Yeah. So the Uller unit, which is the mattress pad Uller, that unit is their newer technology for the cooling and the heating. And it that it has a UV light built in to do it, but this cube itself doesn't do that. So every like 30 to 60 days, you need to basically just t dump all the water out. You run a cleaning solution through it and then put fresh water in. So it's not a huge deal, but it's definitely a drawback that you do have to do that once in a while. Or Joe does. <laughs> so the next one I can think of would be there's no Bluetooth support. So once again, referring back to the Uller, their newer mattress pad, it has Bluetooth support, so you can set all kinds of programs and everything on your phone to turn on at a certain time, to turn off at a certain time. This one just comes with that little remote, so you either have to get down on the ground and actually turn the unit on and set the temperature, or use the remote, or if you can find the remote. Right, because we lose them. And adjust it that way. But it would be nice if there was Bluetooth support to it, but I, I'd say that's a subjective con, though. Yeah, because we have to find Joe's glasses, then we have to find the remote, and we have to find that sock that, like, we only have one sock. Yeah, it's, right. it's, it's, it's a problem. Um, I would say another con, it's a pro for me, but it may be a con for some people, is it only comes in one size. Yes. So we had to get two of them because... There's two of us in the bed. We aren't we aren't doing the Lucy and Desi thing here. Yeah. But um I kind of I mean again, for me it's kind of a pro because I like being able to control it and have it my temperature my way, but for some people it may be not a great thing. Yeah, so if you're like us and you're used to having one big comforter covering you, it's a little weird to shift over to you each have your own individual blanket on a king size blanket. So to me, it would be nice if they had a king size one within two units, but that would also take away from it being portable. So it's yeah. kind of like you have to it's give heavy. up something. Imagine if you have to carry it, two at once. Yeah, it does weigh 15 pounds of weights in there without like the cord that hangs off of the end of it. Yeah. So final con, and this is a biggie, it is expensive. Money, 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 money. I mean, the the price of the unit, and that's, let's talk about the price real quick. The price of the unit with the chili cube, which is the part that actually heats and cools the water, is $499. Which sounds like a crazy amount for a blanket. It is a lot of money. But I look at it as how much is your sleep worth? If spending $500 is going to get you an extra two to three hours of good, sound sleep where you're not restless, to me, that's worth it. And this was a big sell to Rachel because Rachel's like, uh, $500? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, I want you to sleep. I know that it's good for your health. I know it's good for my health. And here's the thing. I don't do exfoliation. I don't go anywhere and have like laser derm. I don't get my hair done any place fancy. I don't get my nails done any place fancy. I don't get a massage. I don't go to a spa. Like there's a lot of things that I don't do for like rejuvenation spa type feel. And having this good sleep helps me wake up refreshed, renewed. I feel like I'm my best self. Right. And that's kind of everything you want out of that spa type of atmosphere, right? Except right. for it's in my house and I get to keep it. It's not just a one hour experience. I feel like if you broke down all of that me time and divided it, you know, I feel like it's totally worth it because I'm thinking of it as every single day I'm waking up feeling like I walked out of a spa today. Right. Well, here's the good news. Two, two pieces of good news. First of all, if you already have a chili pad or an Uller pad, you can actually just buy the blanket without getting another chili cube and you, because those will all hook up to the blanket. Uh, but the blanket just without the cube is $299. But as of the recording of this video, and it may change, but so I would do a Google search, as of the recording of this video, there is a discount code for $150 off of the blanket. So you can use the link that's down below in the description. And then if you use the code sleep retreat, that will take $150 off the price of the blanket, which that brings the blanket down to $350. 
that's only fifth that's to basically paying fifty dollars for the chili cube so at that point to me it's not worth buying just the blanket because the coupon doesn't work on just the blanket well and here's the thing i spent more than three hundred dollars on the bedding on my bed like the pretty <laughs> toss pillows and the you know the comforter right. and that sort of thing so I have an investment on the stuff that we pull off every night right and and don't even use so i may just like not buy a new version of something pretty to put on top of the bed right. and just get the actual help in the bed right so it is expensive but we personally think it's worth it but that is going to be our review today this like i said a little different review than you're used to seeing on Weird, our channel strange, but, but it definitely falls right in line with being on a ketogenic lifestyle and health overall. Yeah. Let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried a chili blanket or any weighted blanket for that matter. And also please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.